Now, before we add this additional filter, I'm just gonna add another check in here. We want to only do this if the post type of testimonial exists. So now we're checking if the HTML page crawler library doesn't exist, if the post type doesn't exist, or if we're not currently working with the testimonials module. So if, if those aren't true, then we're just gonna return uh, content back to the module. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna carry on and do the stuff that we just saw. So with that done, let's, uh, let's have a look at modifying the settings form uh, for the testimonials module. Okay, so the filter for this is called FL Builder Register Settings Form. This takes two parameters. Now the first thing I will do, trying to get into the habit of doing this, is return the form back. So what do we need to do? Well, let's jump across to the testimonials module registration file and see how their fields are structured. So you'll see here, if we just go to the top, we're registering the testimonials module. And if we come all the way down here, you'll see that we have a testimonials tab. Inside the tab, we have sections, we have a general section, we have fields, and we have the testimonials field. And that's the repeating field that we saw just a moment ago. And that's just pulling in the form that's registered below. So what we really want to do is add another field here and give the user the option of choosing between CPT or using this form. So how do we do that? Well, let's head back and we'll start writing some code. Now, the first thing we want to do is just check that this filter is giving us access to the testimonials uh, form. So we can simply do if testimonials equals slug, which is this second parameter that we have access to. Okay, so let's think and figure out how we get access to the fields property of the settings form that we need. The first thing that we'll do is drill down into the form. And if you recall, the tab was called testimonials. So that's the first uh, array that we're gonna um, dig into. And then we need the section. And the section was called general. And within the section, we have fields. And this is where we can then add our own field. And I'm going to call this data source and just start adding the information in here. So this field is going to be a select field. We'll give it a label. This is going to have two options. It will have manual and CPT. So we just need to specify an array here. Okay, so although we haven't got the finished product, let's just go and see if we can see any changes in the settings form. And you'll see here, we have our new field, uh, data sources. Maybe that should be data source, like so. Now, this is gonna give us a couple of options, but until we add some logic, it's really not gonna be doing anything yet. The other slightly frustrating thing is that this field is appearing below the defaults because we've appended to the uh, to the array. So we'll have a look at and see how we can move that to the top. And finally, we also need to hide these fields, these manual fields, once we switch to CPT. So let's go ahead and get that done now. So the first thing to do is the hiding the default fields if we select CPT, and that's easy enough with the toggle option that Beaver Builder gives us. And I'm gonna say, it's only if we select manual that we want to display the testimonials field. And that testimonials field is, if you recall, the one that we see in the default Beaver Builder module registration. Okay, so we have a toggle. Let's save that, head back to the browser and see what we've done. Okay, let's edit this uh, module, head to testimonials, choose CPT, and the other fields disappear. Perfect. Next, we need to make sure that if manual is selected, that we still use manual data. If CPT is selected, then we pull from the CPT. Now for this, we actually need to go back to the 
previous filter that we work with, uh, which was modifying the output, and we'll just account for that in there. Okay, so all we need to do here um, is head up to the top of the filter where we are exiting early if certain conditions are met. And we want to do exactly the same depending on the value of the field that we set in the settings form. So let's add another check here. We'll pull that down and we want to say we only want to carry on, we only want to execute our code if CPT is not the value of the data source field in the module. So we have access to the module instance, which gives us therefore access to its settings. And that's it. We now we're now checking if CPT is not uh, the value of data source, i.e. it is manual, then we just simply return content and that's going to allow the Beaver Build module to display as normal. So let's head back to the browser and see what we've got. And you'll see that we have the previous content back. So if we head over to the testimonials tab, we see that we have the manual data source selected and therefore we're seeing the preview testimonials that I added earlier. If we change this to CPT, wait for it to refresh, you'll now see that we have our CPT data back in. Now, we're very close, we're nearly there, but the final thing that I want to do is just move this data source to the top of this tab. So how do we do that? Let's go back down to our filter for the form. And what I'm gonna do here is just extract the new field. And we, we're gonna put this in a new, um, a new variable. And that's going to be an array, like so. So we're just slightly restructuring this field. OK, so why have we done that? Well, what I'm going to do is reassign the value of uh, testimonial sections general fields to uh, a new value. And uh, I'm going to use array merge to do that. And what this is going to allow us to do is specify the new field first and then simply get the contents of the existing field or fields rather as the second parameter. So this should uh, swap the fields around so we should now see data source at the top. Let's go and see if it's worked. Okay, let's edit the module, hit the testimonials, and you'll see that it's at the top, which is great. So this now makes a lot more sense. We can still use the testimonials module as it is used normally uh, with the regular field, or we can add multiple testimonials as usual. Or if we want, we can specify a CPT and pull in our data from there. And that's just about it. Uh, there's nothing more to say. I am gonna style this, but this is not something that you want to see. Uh, because it's going to be fairly laborious, but I'll give it a go and feel free to check out my Hire Me page in a few days to see what it looks like. Thanks for watching. See you soon.